we're not quite close enough. Now, if I can get down there, I'll have a chance at him. Darcy, you promised the Brotherhood there'd be no killing. I'm gonna go for him. No, Darcy, no! Oh! Oh, God. Don't let her get in the way. Very thoughtful of you, Clive, but my horses are equal to the task. Come on, Hanks, get a move on! He got lucky this time. Are we dead? Do you want us to all get killed? Perhaps you're right, Kathleen. You do have a friend in Bartertown, don't you? We'll get the job done there. No! I'll not involve Uncle Liam in this. Well, he is an Irishman. He will help. It's for the cause. I told you, Darcy. No killing. Even for the cause. You'll be telling me nothing. You're my wife. Remember that. You made a promise. Do you not care about what happens to Ireland? Yes, I do, but... Then you heed my words. You're not speaking about politics anymore. You're speaking of cold-blooded murder. The winds of war can change. A good leader must use his own discretion. Patrick, come. We'll get the job done in Barter Town. No, Patrick, wait. I take me orders from Darcy. How do you do, Mo? Marshal Craddock. Retired Colonel Forsythe. How do you do, ma'am? So, that president of yours finally died, did he? Afraid so, Colonel. Hung on for 80 days with a bullet in his spine. One tough hombre, old Garfield. Assassination. That's what happens when you grant children independence before they're ready. Before they're ready? If you'll uh, just step inside, sir, Hanks and I will bring in the strong box. Ah, very good, Clive. The English. Yeah. It will be perfectly safe here. There are rooms above the saloon. Rooms above the saloon? And a bank that's only open once a week. Suppose that's what you have to accept out here on the frontier. Give the key to my man, Hanks. 
The saloon is just down the street. Yeah, we'll find it. You keep an eye on the strong box till Hanks relieves you. Craddock's right here. Not his jurisdiction. The marshal, thankfully, has no authority in Canada. Come along, Hanks. Don't dawdle. Yes, sir. You know, it's hard to believe that's the man who protected Canada from the terrible Fenian raiders. That was 15 years ago. He was different then. Yeah. That's too bad. You'd look better in emerald green than woodpecker red. I trust you would sigh with a lunatic cause. Oh, steady on, old man. I want to be shaved, not skinned. Uh, that's better. And what brought you from Ireland, Barber? A boat, Your Honor, a boat. Oh, Irish wit. I suppose you were seeking your fortune. No, just trying to keep what little I had from the English. Oh. Sorry about the wait, Corporal. The Colonel's just having a shave. But he'd like you to join him for a cup of tea. Beef jerky? No, sir, Henry Hanks. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. Name ain't sir. Marshal Jack Craddock. Marshal. What you got in that box? Coin. For the ten years since I've been with the Colonel, he's been docking the men's pay. Oh, just a few pence a month. And that's what's in that there box? That's right, Marshal. Over $5,000. What's he planning on doing with all that money? Buy land. Set up a proper estate. Colonel Forsyth's making provisions for the men when they muster out. Huh. So he's setting himself up as Don of La Hacienda Grande, is that it? Well, someone's going to be in charge. Uh-huh. You'd have been better off if you'd joined the British Army. Oh, I wouldn't be comfortable in one of your pretty red coats, Colonel. Nonsense. Whole regiments of Irishmen serve in Her Majesty's Army. Not much initiative, mind you. They're loyal followers. <laughs> and the English are poor leaders, I suppose. I'm sorry, Colonel. I'm a bit rushed today. I suppose you're in a bit of a rush to get this, too. Thank you very much. Very good day to you, sir. So close to the young colonel's throat, how could you resist? Who are you? Why, Uncle Leo, you're telling me you don't recognize your own blood. It's your niece, Kathleen. Hello, Uncle Leo. Kathleen? Oh, I thought it was you, Kathleen. I heard about your brother, Eamon, and the shooting back in Dublin. I didn't know where to write. We were in New York, distributing pamphlets for the Fenian Brotherhood. That is, until the Pinkertons caught up to us. Pinkertons? Well, some British official hired them to harass us. And we've been on the run ever since. This is my husband, Darcy, and his cousin, Patrick Maloney. <laughs> Why 
Nice one. You have it, Marshal. So, uh, you and the other boys in the regiment go along with Forsyth's plan to invest your money? Well, we haven't really had much say about it. Don't you find that just a mite peculiar? What do you mean? Well, this farming estate he's setting up for himself. He's buying it with your money. Oh, but we get to farm it. It'll be just like the estate his family owns back in England. Uh-huh. Well, maybe that's the problem, then. See where I come from? Farmers own their own land. Anyway, I got things to do. You want more coffee? It's there on the stove. Just in case you need it. I'll see you in a spell. Thanks, Marshal. Craddock. You do know how to use that thing, don't you? Yes. Good. What are you doing in Border Town? We were on our way to San Francisco when we ran out of money. You were the only person we knew who might help. I'm not political, you know that. But I'll not be leaving the family empty-handed. I'll uh, get your money and food. And for that, you'll be getting our thanks. I think we'll stretch our legs out a wee bit, huh? Oh, Kathleen, why don't you stay and, and visit with your uncle? Well, eh? What are you up to, really, Kathleen? I don't understand. It's something to do with that jackass of a colonel now, isn't it? No one would get hurt. Don't take me for a fool, girl. What are they planning? The Colonel's strong box. They're going to steal it. Steal it? Are you mad? There are two lawmen in this town. They won't catch us. We've got good horses. And what's going to happen to the money? We'll turn it over to the Brotherhood. They can use it to discredit Colonel Forsyth. The story will be in all the papers. No, the story in the papers will be three Fenians arrested. It won't happen. We'll get away. I haven't laid eyes on you in 15 years. And look what you've become. It's for the cause, Uncle. I know all about the cause. And I know you can't fight for it. I'm a jail cell. Or the grave. Find a way to protect you. Oh, 
Oh, blimey. What nonsense is this? He hasn't stabled my horses. for the cars. Can you ride? Don't be foolish. Yes, I can ride. They're heading for their horses. Clyde. Gotta get to them fast. I'll get the horse. I'll get the buckboard. You need some rest. Oh. Please! Let me out! Yeah. Anybody out there? How does that one feel for you, Colonel, huh? You'll hang for this. Oh, I'd be doing me a rope dance. You'll not be there to see it. I can promise you that. Darcy, the plan was to take the money and expose him for a thief. Kill him, and he's a martyr. I'll make the decisions here, Kathleen, not you. Patrick, open that box. Right. Darcy, look out! Yeah. Kathleen, get him a set of legs. Patrick! Get down! Fire! Right at the colonel. Auntie! Is she all right? So far. You get your men out of here, or the colonel is a dead man! Don't be stupid. Let him go. You got a clean shot yet, Clive? No, not yet. They're my kin. I can talk to them. Darcy! I want to talk! Do this. Leave him be. He'll buy some time. Let him go to Kennedy, brother. Leo, that is far enough. Don't make it worse than it is, for Kathleen's sake. You tell him to clear out of here. We can still make a deal. Leave the colonel in the strong box and just ride out of here. I'll convince the law. She stays with me. I. You bring me my horse, then. Good with your maker. You don't intend to press charges against her. The law's the law. You should know that. 
Ain't you forgetting something there, Colonel? She just saved your life. That husband of hers could have gunned you down. If Kathleen's given another chance, I'll see to it that she's back to Ireland. No politics. You have my word. Look, Liam. There's no need to be doing all of this. We're family, Jack. I'm the only kin she's got. But you'll be giving up everything. And if I don't, I'll be giving up my Irish soul. Liam, Watertown's your home. Kathleen is family. Are you putting them under arrest or not? You sure that's what you want? They tried to steal my money! Your money? Yeah, well, you still got your money and your life. You wouldn't have either if it wasn't for that young lady there. You get my meaning? Let them go, but make certain they never set foot in Canada again. I knew I couldn't trust them. It's full of stones. Those Fenians made off with my money. When could they possibly have done that? Look for yourself! Watch it. Clive? His man, Hanks. Before he left, he asked me to give you this note. Hanks has taken all the money. Back to the boys who own it. They're fools! I was going to give them a chance to have something. Well, don't just stand there, Corporal. Get after him! No, Colonel. This is over. Marshal! As far as I'm concerned, you're the thief. That money belonged to your men. Besides, like you said, ain't my jurisdiction. 